so you're a billionaire. And to become a billionaire, you had to be extremely, extremely paranoid. Much more paranoid than the average person to achieve a billion. In fact, billionaires are the most paranoid people you'll ever meet. They kind of just sit around all day stressing about everything. Why do you think so many billionaires are into longevity? And it's no wonder why billionaires are also obsessed with preparing for the end of the world. World War 3, nuclear fallout, solar flares that destroy the electricity grid. Whatever you can dream of, it's not just tinfoil hat people that are prepping for it, but also the billionaires. Because as a billionaire, if you can easily afford it, why would you want to suffer along with the rest of the plus when the end times arrive? So what do you do? You invest a few pennies of your net worth into a doomsday bunker. We're talking a few hundred million dollars, but that is still pennies to you. And no, we're not talking about some cold, barren, uncomfortable bunker. We're talking about luxurious billionaire bunkers with all the amenities you could dream of to keep yourself busy as the world burns down. Heck, even Mark Zuckerberg, the most vanilla tech billionaire out there, even he has hopped on the billionaire bunker train. On a secluded ranch on the island of Kauai in Hawaii, Mark has been organizing a massive secret construction operation. The construction site is hidden behind six-foot walls to prevent any passing cars from seeing inside. The only vehicles allowed are pickup trucks carrying a variety of materials and hundreds of workers. The entire place is crawling with security guards 24-7, and no one is allowed to talk about what they're building on sites. Not even the different crews working on the site are allowed to discuss what they're doing with each other. But that's not all. Everyone who works on Zuckerberg's secret Hawaii property is also forced to sign a super strict non-disclosure agreement or NDA before being allowed inside. And this isn't just some old NDA that no one ever enforces. No, one guy working on the project has already been fired just for posting a photo on Snapchat while he was on sites. Another former employee who refused to share his identity described the project by saying it's like Fight Club. We can't talk about it. Anything posted from there, they get one of it right away. Obviously, Mark Zuckerberg, the undisputed king of invading everyone else's privacy, is going to great lengths to make sure that no pictures or details of what he's building ever gets leaked to the public. But why? It's because he's building a massive 1,400-acre self-sufficient compound, which features a state-of-the-art doomsday bunker. You know, just in case. Something big. Mark Zuckerberg may be planning on his Hawaiian estate. Wired reports that Meta's founder is building a mega compound okay. on roughly 1,400 <laughs> acres of land on the island of Kauai, including an underground bunker with a concrete-filled metal door. How many have seen The Last of Us in the zombie apocalypse? I mean, <laughs> that's the first thing that comes to mind. As the author of Survival of the Richest puts it, if anyone has enough money to insulate himself from the damage created for society, it would be Zuck. That's sort of what this is. He's destroyed the government and society, and now he can go to Hawaii and build a fort. And he's not the only one. Almost all the biggest billionaires are pouring an insane amount of money into buying up land and building high-tech impenetrable bunkers mini fits. Mark Zuckerberg's project alone is set to cost at least $270 million. And as the world becomes more and more chaotic as the days go on, it makes you wonder, what do these billionaires know that we don't? Stay dangerous, subscribe for more, and this is how to survive the apocalypse. Billionaire Edition. And really fast, if you have money saved up and you're anxious about everything that's happening right now, war, hyperinflation, our political system seems to be declining by the minute, and you don't want your savings to be decimated when it all collapses, then you might want to consider picking up some gold. I've always kept a percentage of my net worth in gold, because think about it, there's a reason why every central bank will happily print money and give it to you, while they secretly hoard gold behind closed doors like Scrooge McDuck. There's a reason why China is stockpiling gold right now. And that's why now is the time to call one of the most trusted precious metal dealers out there, American Hartford Gold. They'll show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your wealth portfolio with physical gold and silver. With the finest products, amazing customer service, and a buyback commitment, American Hartford Gold has a 5-star rating from thousands of reviews and an A-plus from the Better Business Bureau. And what's great is that they support content like this that is committed to bringing you the truth. Tell them I sent you and they'll give you up to $5,000 of free silver on your first order. So call them now, click the link below, or call 866-671-4392. That's 866-671-4392. Or text TRAN to 65532. Again, that's 866-671-4392. Or text TRAN to 65532. Thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Mark Zuckerberg has been doing his best to keep his luxury hole in the ground a secret. He's even spent almost 10 years buying up separate sections of land using shell companies so it wouldn't draw too much attention. But not even the godfather of social media can escape the power of his own creation. 
Small details have been slowly trickling out of the construction site, so we can get at least a general idea of what he's building inside. We know that there would be two football field-sized mansions in the middle of the compound, complete with elevators, offices, conference rooms, and an industrial kitchen. There will also be a full-size gym, sauna, pool, and tennis court, but those are just the icing on the cake. Millions of houses around the world have pools and tennis courts. What really sets this property apart is what's going on underneath it. As far as we can tell, Mark's underground bunker is going to be absolutely insane. The bunker will be accessible from the main mansions via a tunnel, it will be fully equipped to sustain itself, generate energy, grow food, and store all sorts of supplies, it will even have its own water tank and pump system. But the shelter isn't just being built for comfort, it's also built to keep everyone else out. The shelter's door is made of a thick metal that's filled with concrete, a common practice for bomb shelters. The bunker will also have soundproof walls and an extensive network of security cameras. And that's about all we know. And Mark isn't the only one keeping his bunker ambitions under wraps. Frank Vandersloot, a wellness entrepreneur worth over $3 billion, just bought a 2,000-acre ranch just a little south of Mark Zuckerberg's property for $51 million. Peter Thiel of PayPal's hideout of choice is New Zealand, where he has a 477-acre former sheep station in the South Island. And as it turns out, he and Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, are actually apocalypse buddies who agreed to lay low at Thiel's hideout in New Zealand once the end times begin. Billionaire Max Levchin said that most of the world's richest people are all putting money into creating an emergency plan like these guys. So now that you're sold on creating a billionaire bunker, the next step is obviously choosing where you want to actually build it. New Zealand is the dream apocalyptic getaway for billionaires for a few reasons. It's an isolated island that is still a western country, it has a pro-business environment, it's a safe haven for the rich, and practically speaking, it's got a lot of clean water, agricultural land, and it's only an overnight flight away from Los Angeles. So it's no surprise that New Zealand has become a favorite, especially among the tech billionaires of Silicon Valley. Third question, the one that made me realize that this was more than I signed up for, they said, uh, Alaska or New Zealand? Meaning, where should they situate their bunkers for the event? Reid Hoffman, one of PayPal's other founders, explained that saying you're buying a house in New Zealand is kind of a wink wink, say no more kind of thing. For years, New Zealand has been an apocalypse escape destination for America's elite. Notable home buyers include the tech tycoon Peter Thiel, an outspoken supporter of Donald Trump. He's also bet that America was not the place to be if things collapsed. So he arranged for a New Zealand passport just in case. Even Google co-founder Larry Page got residency in New Zealand recently and holds property there. Places like New Zealand, Hawaii, and Alaska make for great hideout locations. They're far away from the big cities, they've got a lot of resources and land available to grow food and build, and they're easily accessible on short notice if things get ugly fast. But while choosing the location of your bunker is pretty straightforward, figuring out exactly how to build it and what you'll need can be a lot harder. Which is why billionaires like you have to turn to the professionals, the companies that build these bunkers. Step number two, hire a professional doomsday bunker building service. Where there's money being spent, ambitious entrepreneurs will follow, and the underground bunker industry is no exception. See, as a billionaire, you don't want to give up your luxuries, even in the end of the world. You don't want to survive, only to then have to suffer and live like a savage. You want your survival shelter to live up to your current lifestyle. Luckily for you, there are several companies that offer exactly that. If a nuclear conflict were to erupt, what kind of facility would protect its occupants from a direct atomic blast? If you ask Robert Vecino, the answer resides with his California-based shelter company, Vivos, that builds fully stocked underground bunkers designed to withstand massive disasters and catastrophes. This is Vivos, specialist in creating high-end long-term survival shelters for members of the upper class. Even though Vivos' target customers aren't really billionaires, they do offer a great entry-level service for those looking to explore the world of luxury doomsday bunkers. The company converts missile silos, Cold War storage facilities, and other types of insanely secure locations into luxury underground apartments. On their website, you can reserve a spot at one of their shelters for just $55,000 per bunker or $35,000 per person in a group bunker plus significant discounts apply if you have apocalypse skills. So it's actually pretty accessible. You definitely hear that safety bang when the door closes. Inside, this 54,000 square foot complex boasts everything you could need to live through the end of days. Okay, let's get down and uh, show you what's underground. Okay. 
Oh. You're not in Kansas anymore. We're growing beneath Kansas. They have different sized suites and other facilities in the common areas to make life after the apocalypse more bearable, such as dining halls, a chapel, a bar, movie theaters, pools, game rooms, and even gardens. Theater and lounge level. So we have this uh, media database with about 3,000 movies on it. Anything in particular you're interested in? Do you have Armageddon? Oh, we got everything. We got that. All right, let's roll that. All right. Welcome to the paradise of the beach. It's a saltwater pool. It's completely computer controlled. The pool is kept at 82 degrees. People do not expect to see a resort pool in an underground bunker. And we get drop jaws every time people, they go, are you kidding me? It's basically a luxury apartment building or a housing community that is built to withstand a nuclear blast. Moving up the tier are companies like Opinum and Rising S that promise to build you the perfect bunker underground conveniently right next to your home. Their shelters are equipped with the little things that ensure that you and your occupants will stay sane during the apocalypse, like fake sunlight exposure and stylish wine vaults. They can customize these high-end bunkers to include anything you may want, from crypto mining rooms to basketball courts and shooting ranges. Screens will even be built into the apartment to show you what's happening on the outside so you can watch the suffering of the masses from the safety and comfort of your own bunker when the end times come. These types of extravagant shelters cost anywhere from $4 million to $14 million. For other people, that may sound like a lot, but for a billionaire like you, that is chump change. It's a small price to pay for peace of mind. We can never predict or control what will happen in the world, but our first, most powerful instinct is always the same, to protect the ones we love. To provide a sanctuary where they can be safe and secure, out of danger and out of sight. But with all the comforts of home, and surrounded by their most precious possessions. Oppidum creates underground living spaces that are highly secure and completely discreet, yet beautifully appointed and entirely bespoke. With everything you need to relax and unwind, and keep your mind and body in peak condition. And even more important than the luxuries, these shelters will also be equipped with everything you need to stay alive for as long as it takes underground. The survival condo is spread across 15 floors and goes 200 feet underground. At the top, under the dome, are the recreation facilities like the pet park and climbing wall. Underneath that are the mechanical level, medical bay and food stores, with luxury living quarters spread across the next seven floors. At the bottom, a further four floors house a classroom, a library, a bar, a gym, and a cinema. Air filtration systems, solar panels, and wind turbines for electricity, and an area for plant and animal farming that will provide endless food. Down on the store level, there's an aquaculture setup that can be used for raising fish and hydroponics for growing organic vegetables. You can have salad daily with this kind of setup. Oh yeah. Great, it's healthy. Yeah. yeah. So we'll, we'll have tomatoes, onions, different kinds of lettuces, some kale, uh, blueberries, strawberries, blackberries. But even without that, there's still loads, and I mean loads, of stockpiled food. They're designed to be impenetrable, or at least that's the pitch. This is a converted missile silo. How much can this place withstand? It was engineered to withstand a 10 kiloton nuclear warhead. So Claire, those doors that we just came in through weigh eight tons each. So they're 16,000 pounds. They're uh, armored steel filled with concrete. So you definitely hear that safety bang when the door closes. In exchange for a massive chunk of money, these companies promise to build something that will hopefully, possibly, maybe keep you alive when everything hits the fan. And the key word here is hope. The thing about these bunkers is while they do look nice, and the idea of them is nice, we don't even know if they will actually work when it comes down to it. In fact, many experts agree that these types of bunkers probably wouldn't work in a real life scenario, no matter how much money you dump into them. Because in a real global disaster that destroys all of society, things go wrong. And if these billionaire bunkers don't perform exactly like they're supposed to, it's all over. All it would take is a little contamination in their food growing room, or a tiny malfunction in their air control room. 
There's no room for even the smallest error or you would be dead like the rest of the world. And come on, how much real world testing can you really do with this stuff? Aside from actually testing a nuke on it before you sell it to a customer. Well, for one, the closed ecosystems of underground facilities are preposterously brittle. For example, an indoor sealed hydroponic garden is vulnerable to contamination. Vertical farms with moisture sensors and computer-controlled irrigation systems look great in business plans. And on the rooftops of Bay Area startups, when a pallet of topsoil or a row of crops goes wrong, it can simply be pulled and replaced. But the hermetically sealed apocalypse grow room doesn't allow for such do-overs. Billionaires are being sold a pipe dream of survival that the designers of these luxury bunkers will never be held accountable for, which makes selling doomsday bunkers a great business. Think about it, if your customers ever actually have to use your product and something goes wrong, you won't be around to deal with any of the complaints or returns. So if you've got some real estate development experience, the billionaire bunker business may just be the thing for you. This business is probably only going to keep growing. Man, you see this Mark Zuckerberg building this $270 million bunker? If you have a billion dollars, we have learned that you can do whatever you want to do. When Elon Musk wants to send space things in space, he don't have to ask nobody's permission. Congress don't meet. Senate don't meet. No police department got to be warned. He don't need a permit. None of that. If you got a billion dollars, you do what you want to do, and then you tell them what you did. Right. And that's how it goes.